Welcome back to Real Feels with Eric Ahila. Today we're going to be learning a new word. Our word of the day is apologized. That's right. Use it in everyday verbiage if you need to, when you have to, if you must. But I've been apologized, and thus I'm letting you know now that I apologize to you. Thus I am apologized. That's what it means when you apologize to someone, and like, as opposed to being like, you know, you've been forgiven or whatever, you've been pardoned or whatever, spirit be with you, you've just been apologized, you know, because you've made peace with yourself and you've realized that, you know, you did what you did and you shouldn't have done it when you did it, but now that you know that you did what you did and you won't do it again, and now you know what you know, you know? Duh, hello, really? Insert look. <laughs> I'm apologized and the reason for my apologized is because I didn't film and post in due time and the reason why I didn't post recently is because I was not feeling very well and if you know me number one I translate on camera very well okay number one number two if I'm gonna be ill I'm not gonna be filming for you to be like all ill too like that's just gross like I'm sorry no I don't believe in spreading the germs at all neither like in real world or in the film world so you're not gonna get the germs on camera or off camera so there you go and number three I have a lot to share with you that I haven't shared with you but I'm gonna be sharing it with you so there you go so yeah I'm so excited and also it's given me some time to like do some brainstorming because I have a lot I want to share with you but you have to keep in mind patience is definitely waiting with a good attitude okay I will give you my promise okay that you'll be getting a video from me every single week more than three hopefully but I want you to keep in mind this is the but part is that it takes a lot of work in everything that I'm doing okay I want you to know from the filming this to editing it to making it perfect and crisp for you mind you I'm very well aware of the sound glitches you know I'm improving my game I'm improving my game every video every step I take you'll be watching me like literally for real police style okay I just wanted to share that with you so without further ado can we get back to you on a real feels with Eric Ahila it's been really difficult to get like my mojo back into the whole thing like into the vibe like I'm thinking okay like what do I want to talk about even though I already have the structure with pick one can you keep up with me and if you can just push the rewind button just go back and rewind and also make sure you subscribe right down there please it'd be really appreciated if you did what were they talking about Ugh, I'm already out of coffee we didn't even get to the brownie segment Ugh, Eric <sighs> Today we are going to be tasting the most delicious ever, okay? This is one of my favorite treats. I will tell you what stirs me besides a cup of coffee because sometimes the coffee stirs you. I will tell you what else stirs me. Food stirs. Brownie, please! I love it! It's amazing. Oh my gosh. I love these brownies! Um, oh God, it's just staring at me. I know what you want. And I know that you know that I want you Cause I know that you know that I want you I wanna eat this brownie I wanna eat this goodness I wanna eat this brownie It's food stirs my brownie Right? Oh my god. Okay. So that was my little jingle for you. Okay, I hope you liked it. That's all you're getting. <laughs> Unless you pay me. I had to put my coffee over there because eating this brownie is a two-hand hand job. And I figured it was just necessary to put the coffee over there. Hi. <laughs> they were so good. Oh. Your brownies should be called better than sex brownies. I'm like telling you for real. Mm. Mm. I was having a flashback of a minute ago. It was so good. <laughs> Just enough to chase it. Thank you, foodsters. While I sip the rest of this coffee, enjoy how these brownies were made. I was just thinking about uh, the rest of that brownie pan that's over there in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm gonna have a little rendezvous with that pan in a minute. <laughs> like for real. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. Like seriously. Why am I looking at you like this? Because I feel like it's a very seductive moment. Right? Like hello, plus I just had some chocolate. Like hello, really? Oh gosh. 
it like totally like put me right there, like right there, like right there, right there, like right there, right there, you know, but not right there, you know. And yes, this mug says, of course I talk to myself. Sometimes I need expert advice. <laughs> and since I'm out of coffee, I guess this cup can be put away. Just like that. Magic. Let's head on over to pick one. We're rolling. And we are picking one now. What's on my mind? What is on my mind? Well, really, if you really want to know what's on my mind, right now I'm a little bit tired, okay? But you don't want to really know about that. I am trying to figure out what's going on in life right now. Like, literally. I am starting a whole new adventure right now. A whole new world. And I think it's time that, like, I just start opening up to myself and say, you know what? Oh, I should probably close this one. What's on my mind? We're talking about life. Life is a topic of conversation. I have a lot that I want to share with you. I'm starting a whole new adventure in life. And I used to kind of hide from it before because I didn't think I was either good enough or that I could do it. And I realized you have a life to live and you have to enjoy it. Do everything that you possibly can. Who says you have to limit yourself to only one title or one job or one vocation or one career? You can do a bunch of different things your entire life. And besides the fact that I'm on this journey, I mean, the most important part really is to find out who I am. And the best way to do that is to do what I would never think I would do, you know? Like, not in like a compromising kind of way. I mean, in a sense, I'm kind of, but not really compromising. I mean, you're not compromising your morality. You're not compromising your standards. And you're not compromising your beliefs or your integrity, and I'm not doing any of those, so. And I didn't even finish my tape in time for RuPaul's Drag Race, season 12, which means I have to just wait for season 13 audition, and hopefully I'll have my shizzle together by then, because um, there's just no way I can submit for season 12. Even though it's like by like a year, the time it happens, but let's be real right now. There's no way I am ready for that. And it's not about the cameras. I'm so ready to be on stage and be like in front of the cameras and all that jazz. Listen, let me just put it to you flat this way. If you had somebody to do my makeup and get me in costume, I'm ready to go, honey. I'm there 100%. But you're telling me to be a one man, one gal show. And believe me, I can totally do that. But just give me some time to perfect my art. You know, like I'm, I did not go to school for this. I did not spend my whole life drawing on my face or covering up my eyebrows as much as I probably should have because I was, but then I was corrected not to when I was doing what I was doing when I did it. You know, now it's time to just recorrect and decorrect and be me and that's what i'm doing right now and it's not just being me like boy eric you can't see this here but like over there in the studio i've got like all the makeup stuff out and we're going to be working a lot on her stuff later this week but i wanted to give you some eric stuff first my real feels are coming out to you also keep in mind that i am including a lot more characters into this you know you're not asking me to do this this is something that i want to do i'm just letting you know that i'm still here i didn't disappear i just am doing things take some time to create stuff also i'm an only child so hello you know and I don't have really any friends that are like locally here that no one's doing anything here I'm the one here doing all of this just so you know this is not a pity party okay I'm just letting you know so you know so just be patient like hello right um, share and tell your friends and watch this and uh, yeah I think that's pretty much what's been on my mind of the now. And I will tell you more about this journey once I get further along the journey, you know, because I don't want to give you too much information about the journey.